Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of June 2018. How are you guys? I hope you guys are having an amazing beginning of the month. And um, just remember there's new opportunities and new possibilities. The sky's the limit as we are in the beginning of the month, okay? So let's see what Spirit has for Taurus, Taurus, Taurus for the month of June 2018. All right, let's get right into your reading, Taurus. So your general energy is the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups usually signifies a lot of opportunities. It can also signify scattered energy. Let's see what other cards come out in your reading. Okay, so again, like I said, we're starting off the month with the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups could represent a lot of opportunities. It can also speak about illusions, but let's see what Spirit has for you guys. Okay, Taurus, for the month of June, I feel that it's necessary for you guys to have clarity and to know exactly what it is that you want because... It's almost like some of you guys, maybe uh, perhaps you're at a job that you're not happy. Uh, perhaps you've been trying to get a job and it just has not happened for you. You need to be very clear, uh, crystal clear when it comes to the desires that you want, whether it's in finances, whether it's in relationships, whatever it may be, you need to not be so scattered, okay? So try the best you can for the beginning of the month of June to really... Put the intention out there of what it is that you want and also follow through with actions, okay? Try the best you can to ground yourself around this. I want to say the first two weeks of June, it's going to be very important to ground yourself, uh, to be able to, I see you guys very flighty for the month of June, the beginning of June anyways. Um, and what I mean by flighty is like you're changing your mind. One day you wake up and you're like, yes, I want to be in a relationship. And then the next day you're like, oh, I'm so frustrated. I just don't want to be in a relationship. Uh, this could be in finances as well. One day you're extremely, you know, um, inspired and extremely like hyper and, and just hyped about life and wanting to move forward. And then the next day you're like really down, very sad and not knowing what to do. So again, it's very important for the month of June for you guys to remain focused and also be very crystal clear in what it is that you want the universe to give to you, okay? Your next card is the Eight of Cups. For a lot of you guys, you guys are walking away, walking away towards um, scattered energy. It could represent that for, uh, again, like I said, for some of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, um, if you've been having difficulty in regards to stability or financial stability, better things are to come. You are walking away from feeling scattered or feeling like uh, you have no direction and you're walking towards direction, but you're also walking with purpose, okay? For those of you guys that are single and have been single for a while, you're walking away from uh, people that come into your life and their fey weather, meaning if you have a tendency of giving opportunities to people in the romantics uh, sector and you give opportunities um, to people that perhaps don't deserve it, you're going to be more discerning for the month of June. You're going to be more exact and precise in what it is that you're looking for in a mate. And you're going to be not at all fearful to walk away from anything that is not good for you. I definitely do see you guys walking towards stability. You do have here uh, the hermit, sorry, the high priest. And the high priest is definitely, again, a card of power, but it also speaks about going to get advice or going to someone that is more knowledgeable than you. Um, and not being almost like not being offended by the advice they give you, but they actually inspire something in you. If you guys have currently, um, been looking into different type of religion or studying different type of, or even practicing your own religion, something that perhaps you didn't do in the past, you're going to come to the understanding that again, manifestations is something in it that's going to be very prominent in your life. And the more you go into the month of June, uh, focused and knowing what it is that you want, you're going to start to see all those manifestations come very quickly for you guys. And again, um, I do see very quick movement because the last two cards that you have are wands. So again, if you've been stuck, whether it's relationships, whether it's finances, 
not being able, not being able to get a job, not being able to find a person that is more of that has more commonalities than you do, or that you have more things in common with, uh, you're definitely going to be finding that in the month of June, I want to say the third month of June manifestations start to happen left and right. So again, try the best you can to start the month with, you know, your best foot forward and always, always be crystal clear on what it is that you want. Now you do have here the seven of wands and the seven of wands is not backing down. Knowing it exactly what your worth is, do not settle for anything less than that. If you if you get an opportunity for a job, and let's say you've been without a job for a while, this could signify, the seven of cups could signify that more opportunities are going to be coming your way, but do not fear that if they offer you less than what you're expecting or what you want or what your work is worth, do not be ashamed or fear that if you don't let them know, you know what, can we negotiate, even in relationships as well. Um you can always negotiate. You can always try to meet common ground uh, with the other person and do not speak, uh, or I mean, do not hold back and speak up, speak up, speak for yourself, um, stand up for yourself. The seven of wands is all about that. And again, believe in yourself and have confidence in yourself. Uh, I feel you guys have been lacking that for the past couple of months. Nonetheless, with the seven of wands, stand your ground, know your worth and do not settle for anything less. It will be given to you. And more than once, so you will have your pick and choosing, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. Let me know how it goes out for you guys for the month of June. And we'll see each other soon. I'm going to be trying to upload um, readings and also spell work. Um, I'm going to be trying the best I can to get it in for you guys every Tuesday and every Friday. So you guys stay tuned to my next video, okay? See you guys soon. Bye.